Hey guys, it's Steph, the Midwest Cowgirl, and today I'm gonna try something a little different than my normal content. I'm going to be taking you guys along with me on bringing horses in, and um, yeah, if you guys like the content, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, feel free to leave a comment, any suggestions, feedback, I'm, I love it. I love hearing anything you guys have to say, positive of course. Um, and yeah, let's go bring some horses in. All right, so the first thing that I do is, hi, Punk. Here's Punky. <laughs> hi, Punky Cat. Hi, the handsomest boy. <laughs> He's the best boy. So, funny story, quick side note, is um, Punk, I found him as a kitten and I actually was due to have my son um, two days. So two days before I had my son, I found this little guy trapped in one of our doors in our pole barn and he was just this tiny, tiny little kitten. And yeah, he's just this friendliest little boy. This is Punky. His full name is Punkin, but we call him Punk because as you can imagine, he's kind of a punk. He actually sneaks up and um, one of our dogs is scared of him and we have two pit bulls and this big bad pit bull is scared of Punky because he actually will sneak up and pounce on her and scare the crap out of her and it's to the point where if he's at the sliding door she will not go outside because of him. <laughs> so anyways, first thing I do is I grab our goats. Their names are Jack and Scruff and they're probably waiting at the door well hello boys hi jack he's always mounting scruff it's a dominance thing it's sassy goaties so let's see i'm gonna put their collars on because i actually i walk them in like their dogs look at scruffy come here come here come here jack that's okay they're all hooked up you guys ready for dinner? <laughs> you guys are so cute. <laughs> oh, they crack me up, seriously. Okay, come on boys. Come on, there's no cats in here. Well, there might be. Scruff is scared of Punk too, actually. Cause Punk scared Scruff the other day. He's quite the, he's quite the menace on the farm. So, oh, and here's Josie, she's my old lady. She's gonna be 15 in February. Hi, Joe Bear. Now the ghosts are afraid of her. She's old, she's not gonna do anything. Come on, come on, come on, boys. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. It's just Josie. Lady. Oh, don't headbutt her. Poor Joe. <laughs> After grabbing the goats, I start grabbing Rip. Uh, well, normally there's a horse out here named Riptide. Right now he's in getting his feet trimmed. This is Geo. He's the littlest horse on the farm. He's part pony. He, uh, he's very cute, but don't let that fool you because he's got little man syndrome. So he's actually the naughtiest horse on the farm. So after I bring Gio in, I come back out here and I clean this dry lot. Okay, so I just brought Gio in and now I'm gonna clean this dry lot. So we call this the big red barn dry lot. So I have this one and then the one behind me over here is where the goats go during the day. And they act, the goats have two different areas. They have this one and then we built this one right here um, for them as an option, uh, just so they can have you know different areas to go in. But I clean my dry lots twice a day. Um, it keeps the mud down and it keeps the dirt down. You wanna avoid the thrush in their feet. And um, my two geldings, Chief and Sunny, come out here at night Chief does not like being in a stall. He will kick all night long. And Sonny, it's just better for him to be outside um, with his arthritis. He's got arthritis in his back legs, and so it's better just for him to keep moving and moving. And he doesn't partic 
like he doesn't really like being in a stall anyways. So better for him to be outside. So I fill their hay nets right here with hay. I feed grass hay. Some of it has a mixture of alfalfa. Um, yeah, and so I like to use hay nets in most of the stalls. I think actually every stall here has a hay net. Um, it's better for them to eat all day long or all night long, I should say. And actually some of the dry lots do have hay nets in them as well. So the longer the horses are eating, the better it is on their tummies because you want to avoid ulcers as much as possible. Because once your horse has ulcers, it's really, really hard to get rid of. So yeah, I'm going to clean this dry lot up real quick and then I'm going to continue bringing in the horses. Okay, so I clean the dry lot and now I'm going to be dumping grain. So this is Chiefs. Dump it into a pan and then I put him out here to eat and then he will eat his hay. And um, so he's out with Sunny and Zephyr. They're over here. They are very impatiently waiting at the gate. <laughs> so. Yeah, they're all cute looking at me. Let's see. What are you guys doing? Are we being naughty? You guys are so naughty. Yeah. Hi, boys. <laughs> so, this one is Sunny, the Palomino. It's my guy. This is Zephyr, the gray, and then the paint is Chief. So the Palomino and the paint are mine. So Sunny is my newest horse and they're probably gonna be really sassy for me to bring in. So we'll see. I just brought my girls in. So that was Rally. And their stalls are in the indoor arena. So, and Stella, she knows the way. So, she knows where her room is. So, their stalls are in here. My husband actually, gosh, this door is sticky. Um, he built these stalls actually. And, um, just for our, originally they were built for our two geldings that we had that passed away last year, Cowboy and Wind. But now, now the girls are in here. So, and they like it because they like to watch the show of people riding or when I'm teaching and they like an audience. So, but yeah, Stella, give me Stella. So, and as you can see, her food looks like soup. It's kind of hard to see, it's a little dark. But um, when the weather shifts and gets kind of funny, so like tonight is supposed to rain and the temperature is supposed to drop. So I like to soak their grain. So just in case if they don't drink, you know, enough water outside, then I know that they're getting some sort of water because we want to avoid colic as much as possible when the weather shifts like this. So this is Flicka. Her bedroom is in the red barn. So like I said, this barn is heated. Come here, lovely. And Flicka's the boss. I love her, she's so sweet. And then Ellie's at the far end of the, the barn. So Ellie has to wear a fly mask pretty much year round. Um, she's got pink pigment around her eyes and let's see if I can get that I'm gonna take the fly mask off so to protect her eyes from the Sun um, she's got to wear this fancy fancy schmancy fly mask it looks massive but basically it's like sunglasses for horses okay, hang on. Hang on. Shh. 
she wants her food. But you can see how she's got like pink around her eyes. And um, right now she doesn't really eat her grain right away because she's on a very fancy diet because she had pretty bad limes. And so her owner is treating her with, through a diet, which is actually pretty cool. And um, yeah. So, and the person that she's talking to is actually in another country. Um, so yeah, pretty wild. Okay, now we're gonna get Fabby and Molly. And I've known Fabby for a really long time. So before I bought my facility, I used to board at another barn and Fabby used to go out with my girls. So it's kind of crazy how full circle. A lot of people that I've known years ago are now boarding at my barn. So I've known them since I was a teenager and now I'm in my mid thirties. And uh, yeah, now they're all, they're all here, which is kind of cool. Know these horses for a very, very long time. Oh my God, Molly. Jeez. She just spooked at Josie. Hey, you Mal. Know, so Molly's an older, older Appaloosa. She's very, very sweet. I adore her. Sweet, sweet girl. Hang on, I know. We're all very impatient when it comes to dinner time. Very impatient. Fab. Come here, Fab. Whoa. Jobier, why is everyone afraid of you today? <laughs> She's so sweet. So Josie's gonna be 15 in February. She is just the sweetest girl. She's just my sweet girl. Yeah. And Punk. Mr. Sassy Boy. Precious girl. She kinda, I think she stays young because she's been a barn dog her whole life. And so she gets lots and lots of exercise. All right, Punky, be nice to her. Okay, Sonny's, Sonny's done with his grain and he is patiently waiting to come in, so. Um, I'll show you guys something. So Sunny um, is wearing these special boots. They offer like cushion to his feet. So he actually has really thin soles. So we're trying to figure out how to support his feet. Yeah, and I actually just learned how to trim feet. So my, my friend taught me and uh, she just finished her course in Canada actually, which is pretty wild. Um, so yeah, so she's been educating me on how to properly trim feet. And as you can see, he's got his boots on and, uh, yeah. So basically right now his toes were, his toes were super, super long and we had to get those down. And because they were so long for, they were long for so long that, that, um, he actually got really, really sore. So then he had shoes for a while and now that we're approaching winter, I don't want to have shoes on for the winter. And actually shoes are not great for them. Metal shoes, they, they don't absorb, they don't allow the body to absorb the shock going up their leg. You want their body to absorb the shock because they're like, you know, I think you're about like 1200 pounds. Mm -hmm. Don't eat my jacket. So yeah, anyways. He wears boots for now before, until his feet are hard enough to be able to go without them. And it's gonna rain tonight, so I'm probably gonna have to take them off anyways, because if they get wet and they rub, it'll, it'll rub his feet raw. But we're very happy to have him. We just got him. He's just a very sweet boy. He's very sweet. So I'm gonna put him out with Chief, and then he'll stay out there for tonight and I'll put their sheets on because it's gonna get rainy and cold. And for whatever reason, sometimes they like to stand in the rain and then they start to shiver. So <laughs> even though they have a lean-to to sit under, um, but yeah, isn't he so cute? Let's take your jewelry. I know, he's such a good boy. Gotta make sure Chief doesn't have any leftovers. 
Okay, bye. Make good choices. Okay, last of the mirror group, I have Ferrari and Piper. So they are bottom of the pecking order. And um, yeah, I'm sure they're ready to come in. Ferrari gets very flustered when I'm not efficient with my time. <laughs> Hi, Noxie. She's so sweet. Yeah. Okay, last group is, um, I call it like the senior citizen group. <laughs> so it's Zane, Gray, Copper, Sporty, and Aztec. Copper is the youngest. Um, and the pecking order is Zane and Gray, Copper, usually Aztec, and then Sporty. Um, but yeah, so it's the last group I'm gonna bring in. Um, you'll see the gate is kind of messed up because these horses don't really have to respect the fencing. Um, and so I've got like Rubbermaid tubs in front of it. That's like my makeshift way of keeping them off the gate. Um, they don't really care, but it helps a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna bring these guys in and then I gotta clean up one more dry lot. Normally I throw hay uh, for the next morning just for time, um, but it's gonna rain tonight. So when it's gonna rain, I, I don't throw hay because then it just kind of just goes to waste and, and I'll throw it in the morning. But yeah, I'm gonna bring these boys in and I gotta teach a lesson tonight with my girls and yeah, that's my routine. So it's starting to get dark and uh, yeah, my girls are all gonna show up and see me videoing and they're the ones that are like, you need a video and do your daily life. Hi Zane. So we'll see. They're my biggest supporters. <laughs> Okay, so I got all the horses in and um, now I'm just gonna clean the last dry lot and put some hay in the hay nets and then I'm done. And then my students are gonna show up and I got a lesson for the rest of the night. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Feel free to comment. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys. Hi Olive. <laughs> this is the big bad Piffle, afraid of the kitty. She's nervous so now she's going to the house. Come here. Come here. Are you so scared of that cat? He's so mean. He's so mean. <laughs> ah, Liv, you poor girl. I know that mean punky. Yeah, he's so mean. Okay, let's go. Let's get away from that kitty. I know, let's go.